Quadrilateral ABCD is drawn on the standard XY coordinate plane as shown below with points E and F on the line segment AD. Point G, that's this point here, is in the center of the rectangle B to C to E to F. And back up to B again. How many coordinate units long is the line segment from A to G? So I'm going to break this problem down in two parts. First, we're going to figure out where is point G at. And then once we know where point G, at, G is at, we can figure out what is the distance of the line segment AG. And then we'll figure out that part second. So let me go ahead and uh, make a little dashed line between these two kind of parts of the problem. And let's start with the problem. How do we figure out where AG is at? Well, they tell us that we have this rectangle. And let me kind of show you how the coordinate plane works here. So at B, we have this point 6, 4. And we know that eventually we're going to have to go from that point over to this point 12, 0. So let's take it one step at a time. Let's go first, let's go in the downward direction. So here, if we're dealing with down, up and down, we're dealing with the y axis, which goes up and down. And the y axis is what you see in the second term here. So we start at 4 and we end at 0. That means we need to go down 1, 2, 3, 4 units, 4 units down in order to get to a point that is far enough down to get over to the, uh, the next point over here. So now we're, we're at a point we didn't go over at all. So x remain the same. We're still at 6, but we've gone from 4, down 4 units, to 0. All right, now we need to go on the horizontal axis. So in this case, we're dealing with the horizontal axis. This is the x-axis here. It's, in, it's denoted here everywhere. And we're going to go up from 6 to 12. So we need to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We need to go from 6 to 12, 6 units over in this direction to get to this point. Now, let's talk about point G. It's basically the same type of problem, except they said to us that point G is exactly halfway between these two points. So we need to go halfway down here, and then we need to go half of the distance over here to get to point G. So let's talk through what that is. If we go halfway down, we're going to go from uh, 6, 4, and now we're going to go down 1, 2 units. So we're going to arrive at 6, 2. That's, you know, we went down from 4 to 2. If we'd gone down another 2, we'd get to 0. And now we're going to go over. So let's go over, in this case, half of 6. We're going to go over 3 units. So let's go from 6, 2, we'll add 3 units, and we'll end up at 9, 2. And that's exactly where point G is, and I can prove that to you too. If we go over 3 more units, we'll arrive at 12, and we go down 2 more units, we'll arrive at 0. So point G, which is exactly halfway in between, is at the point 9, 2. So that takes us to the second half of our problem. Now we have point G, he's up here at 9, 2, and we're trying to figure out what is the distance between D and this point A over here that is down at 0, 0. And here we can approach it in a very similar way. Let's ask ourselves how far over we have to go. We have to go in the x direction, so we're going from 0 to 9. So that's along here, we're going to go out 9 units, and then we have to go upward. And in going upward, we're going to go from 0 to 2. So we're going to go up 2 units. And now we have a right triangle where one side is 9, the other side is 2, and the last side is the unknown hypotenuse, AG squared, or AG, the AG line segment. So if we remember Pythagorean's theorem, the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the two adjacent sides. So nine, you know, that orange line segment is equal to nine squared plus the uh, uh, two squared. And if we do the math here, nine squared is equal to here. I'll come over here. Nine, nine squared is equal to eighty-one. 
and to 81 we're adding 2 squared which is equal to 4 now we're just it's an arithmetic problem and if we add those two numbers up we have 85 is equal to h squared if we take the square root of both of these sides we finally get the formula that h is equal to the square root of 85 the correct answer h